Hola amigos, and welcome back to Let's Play Gunstar Super Heroes on Game Boy Advance and Zero Stealth Spot Rocket today. What are we doing? We're actually going to be taking on Moon 3. Uh, Moon 2 is a little bit of a bitch to do. And I can't unlock the checkpoints in that room, uh, on that moon for some reason, so we're doing Moon 3. Alright, so it's talking about Green, who apparently has gone missing. And the Force Mecha! We get to use the Force Mecha and traverse the mine. It changes position with the jump button. And with the, the Empire has uncovered seven Force, a powerful relic. Basically, this is just Use Fire Championship Edition. The game. Based on the movie. Based on the book. This really is basically all this is. Fire power shot over there. I think we missed a health power up somehow, but oh well, it was probably off screen anyway. I'm not too upset about that. Normally I'd say something like I ain't having that shit, but you know what? I am having that shit. That shit will be had. Okay, so this is bomb the bomb evasion area. Ooh. Uh, you don't want to get hit by the bombs, they do deal quite a bit of damage, unfortunately. Basically, this is do as I say, not as I do, because I got hit by a bomb. Even though I told you guys not to get hit by bombs. Alright, I feel like I'm going to be at a slight health disadvantage compared to the last save I had on the stage. So, you know, if I die to the boss, and suddenly my health is much higher than what you remember it, it's because the checkpoint I restarted at... You always restart a checkpoint at the highest amount of health you had when you've reached that checkpoint in any of your playthroughs. So basically, we've got a checkpoint that, uh... I had relatively high health at. Alright, just continuously hold fire. And there we go! Alright, cool. Train's beaten? Yeah, I'm gonna be at a slight health disadvantage, because this boss is actually kind of tough. Alright, oh! Ah, it spawned on- it spawned right on me. It has this weird habit of spawning right on top of you, like, Oh, I went the other direction in order to avoid well, usually he starts off with a form that's behind you, but nope. This time, he didn't. Come on, there we go. So where is he going to go now? Okay. Uh, the bird form. This form is relatively easy. Just have to avoid shots. Then he turns around and goes into Denmaku mode, which you can easily beat with a power shot. Uh, okay, now human form! Seven Force Man! Faster than a speeding Force Mecha. Stronger than... I don't know. Stronger than... A lion on its period. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Frankie, you guys should know that by now. Okay, there we go, come on. Wait, why- why did- Oh, it drains power from your attacks if you get hit. I see! Also, as you can tell, Seven Force is a clusterfuck. Who boy. Who boy. Well, let's do- let's do something. Yeah, we're going to be starting at 138 health this time, which is a little bit better. A little bit. Not sure how much it's going to save me, but alright, let's be in the center here, and... Okay, he starts off from the behind, and... Alright, cool, he's in an easy form. Alright. I like this. I like this a lot.
And... Come on, there we go. Okay. Alright, oh. Open pooping style, uh... Oh, right. This one... That one's fairly simple, most of the time, does get a little bit difficult, especially if you're not expecting him, because he's probably the least memorable form of this fight. Bird guy's also up there, I actually forgot that he had the bird form, and I should have expected the seahorse form. Okay, he's going to... no, he's gonna be human form again, okay. I'm actually going to be switching to force here, and... This is some Shin Megami tense ass music right here, though. This is just... The tension in this fight is just so thick, you can cut it with some sort of cutting thing. I don't know what you guys use to cut things. You could use a buffalo for all I care. You know, look like a woman, but I cut like a buffalo, you know? I have no idea where that's from. I think it was a song at some point that they played on DC 101. Oh! Crikey! Okay. There we go. We have a crab problem. Crab is kind of a problematic form, actually, because you constantly have to be... Adjusting your position, but it's not as fast as some of the other forms that cause you to, uh... Wait, you can shoot Hadoken from the from the claws. Never knew that. Okay, I think this is his last form. Please. Please. Hey. Okay. Yep. Okay, I can constantly adjust myself. And was that it? Was that it? No, one more. Oh, yeah, it was it. Cool. All right. Stage clear! Stage clear! Just offended every Japanese person on the face of the planet, but I don't care! I beat 7 for us! Okay, cool. Awesome. <coughs> the green gem touches your mind. I am the third gem, Alioto, from a different Earth. Red, I will endow you with my history. On my Earth, the environment was harsh. So humans learned to manipulate their genes, but by doing so, they lost their humanity. They were monstrosities that fought over everything. Born into this world, I fought for my humanity, but that was when I found another horror. It was a horror from another dimension. It was something that would endanger all our Earths. This was outside space, a vile, evil entity. It was then that I had a new goal to preserve humanity. I searched for help in this upcoming battle. That's why I'm here. You must help us save all our Earths. Save humanity. Red, we're counting on you. Cool, that just leaves... Moon 2 to take down. Oh, no! Oh, why do I have to take on Moon 2? Couldn't I just skip to Moon 5 or the space station or something like that? I wanna do Moon 2! It's not a fun stage! Hit the boss in the stage too, it's just... Everything is about it is just... It's so hard, and I'm a whiny white kid who's gonna complain about it, but we'll save that for the next episode. So, until next time, I'll see you... I'll be seeing you guys... Dyslexia. This is Tales Fyraga signing out, take care everyone.